Welcome back. We've all likely heard of the word superfood, but what exactly does that mean and what are they? Joining us this afternoon is our own Ann Hutera, who is also the branch manager for the Gluten Intolerance Group of Laredo to tell us a little bit more about what is superfood and again, how can we incorporate it in our diet and why are they so important for us? Yeah, everyone's heard the word superfood right. and it's very popular now. It's trending in a lot of health circles, but superfoods have actually been around hundreds, thousands of years. Wow. And what they are is they're the foods in natu nature, the natural foods that have the highest concentrates of nutrients and minerals that our okay. body needs. And the reason that superfoods are so important for people who are on a gluten-free diet is because a lot of times these people are eating you know, the packaged gluten-free foods right. that you find in the store that a lot of times have really high carbs and really high amounts of sugar Got and it. not a lot of nutrients. Right. So for someone who wants a big kick of nutrients into their diet, superfoods are the way to go. And we have a meeting tomorrow where we're going to talk about 10 different superfoods, but today I want to share with you my favorite three. And everything that you see here, I eat every day in my diet yep. and then some additional ones. The first one we're going to talk about is bee pollen, and that is exactly... I've heard about yeah, that, but I don't know... It's exactly how can what we incorporate it sounds that in our like. Food, okay? So bee pollen, it's little tiny granules, and it is actually the pollen that the bees bring back to the hive mixed with their own honey. So I'm oh, going to give you a little bit to taste. And it has kind of a nutty flavor, yet okay. you also get the honey in there. And what bee pollen is, mm, is it honey. helps you mm -hmm. as far as protein is concerned. It has a high amount of protein. If you're an athlete, it helps you with recovery, with energy. And it's also antimicrobial, antibacterial. It helps fight viruses. So a lot of So if you're sick benefits. and things like that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I take this every single day, and it's really Where delicious. Where do you incorporate that with? So you can sprinkle this on a Like a beverage? Or something? You okay. can put it inside a smoothie. Okay. Um, I eat it just out of the jar because it's very convenient and yeah. it's tasty. Okay. So the next one I'm going to talk about is chia seeds. And I make this all the time. My daughter loves this. This is a chia pudding and it's so easy to make. It has full fat coconut milk, which fat has really gotten a bad name. Right. A lot of people say, well, I need to cut fat out of my diet because I don't want to be fat. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work that way. When you're talking healthy fats, our brain needs healthy fats to function. Every cell in our body needs healthy yeah, fats absolutely. to function. So this is very easy to make. It's coconut milk, it's okay. chia seeds, it's some lemon zest, some vanilla, a little bit of raw honey for sweetener. You put it in a bowl, put it in the fridge, leave it overnight, and the next day it's All done. All I taste really is the vanilla. You really don't taste anything else and that you it's can, not other ordinary. You can add whatever flavors you want. Yeah. I like to put strawberries, I like Love to that. put raspberries. Mm -hmm. So that's a really easy dessert or even a breakfast that you can make for yourself. Okay. And the last one, that I'm going to show you. I do this every morning. I make yes. a superfood smoothie. So I want you to get that and taste it before I tell you what's in it. Because okay, a lot yeah. of people might be turned off by we what's were, in it. And then that's exactly <laughs> what we were talking about earlier. It may not look tastier, but let me see. Hold on. The main flavors that you're going to get in here are banana and the it's cacao. like a regular smoothie. Which is a raw chocolate. Yeah. So what's actually in here is a banana, some fresh greens. I like to put kale okay. and spinach, so I'm mm. getting my dose that of I greens get. in mm -hmm. the morning. I also put MCT oil, which which is natural energy. It's multi-chain okay. triglycerides that come from coconut, which are a good source of energy. It's a good alternative to caffeine. And this also has maca root, which is the third uh, That's what I was food for. I'm going to yeah. tell you about That's today. Fun. I love maca root. It is probably my favorite superfood. And it is what's called an adaptogen, and it does exactly what it sounds like. It yeah. helps our body adapt to stress. And it helps us adapt when we're running around, when we're lacking in sleep. Yeah, absolutely. And so foods that are adaptogens are really good for us because they just keep us strong and they yeah. keep us healthy. So this one also has chia seeds. It has some cacao. It has some spirulina and a few other superfoods. So and this was just a way to show right. people that it's very easy to incorporate these into your diet. And you can talk about this. You can learn even more about even more superfoods that that's happening. It's on Thursday, this Thursday at 7.15. It's going to be at Loretto Medical Center. Center, Community Center, room number two, Tower B. Thank you, Anne, for You're being welcome. with us here this afternoon.